that's enduring like me. I once was low, but now I'm bound. Was kind, but now I see the Lord has promised to me His word and love sublime. Is will by shield and portion be till the end of time? Yea, when this flesh and heart shall break and mortal life shall see. now, Ray. Take care of yourself, baby. Take care. I'm sorry. You want a lift? Is that all? Hey. Hey, how'd you know I was coming for you, huh? You telepathic or something? Yeah, baby, I'm a regular mind reader. What do you think? I came all the way out here just to pick you up? Who sent you? <laughs> oh, come on. Nobody sent me. You just look like you needed a ride, that's all. And besides, I really like your looks. Okay, so maybe I got a fantasy about picking up a convict fresh out of jail. Yo, maybe I got a fantasy, my own. About a pretty little thing like you. Picking me up in a red Corvette. Me all unspoiled and fresh out of jail. Wanna drive? Can't. Don't have a license.
Gossip for 14 years. You are such an idiot. Look, I'm sorry. I... No, I... I'm sorry, what? Okay, okay, uncle, 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 I gotta rest my thing before I spontaneously combust. <laughs> Can't say that I have. It's so cool. It's got all these old signs from these old casinos. It's really fun. You wanna go? No, honey, I don't think so. I ain't much into this graveyard kind of thing. Oh, come on. It'll be really fun. Ah, oh, too many ghosts. There are no ghosts, Ray. Come on, we'll have fun. I promise. Promise, huh? We making Elvis Ray promises already? Yeah. <laughs> How do I know I can trust you? Well, that's a shitty thing to say. After what we did all night long. If you can't trust me, who can you trust? That news from you, baby. Oh, Ray, you don't trust nobody. Well, fine. Then just screw the neon graveyard. And Ray, screw you! Rita, you never bothered to tell me who sent you to pick me up. Nobody. <laughs> we sent you Buttercup. I told you, dumbass. Nobody. Well, that's bullshit, baby. You want to play games with old Ray? All right, fine. Well, then let's play some games. Ray! Ray, cut it out! I ain't gonna stop nothing until you tell me the truth. God damn it! Truth already, now stop the car! Tell me who sent you! Stop it, Ray! You tell me who sent you! Tell me! Alright, fine, fine! You wanna get us killed? You just go ahead! Almost got us killed! Tell me right now who sent you. Calls up my boss, sends her a cashier's check for a cool thousand, and here I am, okay? What's the matter? Wasn't it worth it? Yeah, I guess one of my marine buddies must have set this up, huh? Brilliant. Would you figure that one out all by yourself? Cut it out! Cut it out, Ray! Let me cut it out. Huh? Cut it out. Well, I thought you were supposed to be my good time girl. Paid a thousand bucks. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. You are such an asshole. Why? Because I got a suspicious mind. 
You would too if you were in my shoes. Girl, screw yourself, Ray. Oh. <laughs> You keep talking to no Elvis real like that, I'm gonna start falling for y'all ass. <laughs> You're just horny. Yeah, well, you right about that. Give me that. Uh -uh, you ain't getting them. So where is this neon boneyard you're so proud of, baby? Hmm? So now you want to go? <laughs> Come on. She knows she's really is a bed bug. <laughs> Come on, let's take a look around. Looking for ghosts? <laughs> Bad girl. <laughs> Are you listen to me. You listen to me real good. I don't think your friends told you why I went to jail. It's for stabbing a pretty little girl just like you 26 times with a bayonet. Now, I cut her up real bad. Now, you do what I tell you. No fuck-ups. I'm gonna slit your throat from one ear to the other. You understand me? Yes. And you, you shut up and do what I tell you. Come on. <laughs> about dad what money Oh, my God. 
Drive, I'm still shaking. I can't. What are you talking about? You can't. I don't know how. Oh, Jesus. You think you would have gotten yourself a license, Ray? I've been in jail 14 years, woman. It's no excuse. guys right away back there. No one ever goes there. Are you okay? Are you okay? Hell no, I'm not okay, Ray, you lying son of a bitch. You told me you were falling for me, but that was just a trick. You're a goddamn lying fucking murdering ex Stop. Listen to me. Listen to me. I am falling. I am not a nymphomaniac. You take that back. I won't. It's true. You take it back. I won't. It's not true. It's true. It's not. It's a woman, baby. That's true. Come on, let's go. Okay. You didn't love me, Ted. Screw to get a place like this, huh? Screw you, Ray. Uh, I promise. You are such a jerk. I'm a co worse. <laughs> yeah, I bet you have. So what's for dinner? Nothing for you. Yeah, I'll tell you mm -hmm. what's for dinner. Here about this. Huh? So I'm tell you. Here. Huh? Huh? So I'm well, okay. Uh, So hot, you know, man. No, you get me so hot. But I'm hungry. What? <laughs> Read up how I love you and how I need you most of all. <laughs> Shit, baby. Me too. <laughs> Dinner's ready. I hope you like it. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes, you like the Statue of Liberty, huh? Hello. Hi. Well, I'm kind of busy right now. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. <laughs> Was that? No one? Want some mashed potatoes? I asked you who the hell that was. 
I'm out of here. I'll kill you. Huh? Watch me. Get out of my way. Wait. When I get back, you be gone. Got it? It's better for both of us. It's better for me. And it's much better for you. You forgot something. A limo's picking me up. Hi. Can you give me the telephone number of the Golden Slipper? In Las Vegas, I guess. Actually, it's a little bit north of town. Nothing? I don't know. Uh, I ain't been there in 14 years. It's a, uh, you know, whorehouse. Yours. Jody. Jody? Mm-hmm. And where you from? Russia. I never did it with no Russian before. Well, Elvis, would you like to buy a Russian girl a drink? The bartender. Let me get a couple of tequilas over here. Mm-hmm. First time in here? First time I came here was about 14 years ago. Really? <laughs> I was private, Elvis, now. United States Marine Corps. So tell me something, Jody. Or Natasha, whatever the hell your name is. Hmm. You fuck as good as you look. It's better. <laughs> so anybody still here used to work here 14 years ago? Why don't you ask Shirley? She's the manager. She's been here longer than anybody. Is it that really turned you on? Big cocks. Girl, it's your lucky day. Come here. I want to introduce you to the pride and joy of Memphis, Tennessee. Old General Cockburn. Well, I do declare that it's alive and growing. Oh my God, how big does it get? Big enough to sink a battleship, baby. Oh. <laughs> so what's it surely look like? Listen, I tell you what. Why don't you come and fuck my brains out? And then later I'll find it for you. Mm -hmm. huh? Please. Mm -hmm. Such language. I try so hard to teach my girls good manners and proper etiquette. 
I'm Shirley. Hi, what can I do for you? Besides, fuck your brains out. That's Jody's department. <laughs> I was wondering if you knew a girl named Linda. Used to work here about 14 years ago. Well, that's a pretty common name. What's she to you? Nothing, just a good time. She's still around? Well, she's probably married somewhere with a couple of kids by now. Anyway, Jody here will make you forget. Mm. <laughs> That's not what I heard. I heard that she was murdered. I heard she went and got herself stabbed 26 times with a bayonet. Got sliced up real bad. I've seen you before. Who are you? My name's Patterson. Ray Patterson. Oh, you've got some nerve coming here. You'll have heard she had a boyfriend, a real big shot. What's his name again? Get out. You tell him I know he did it. You tell him I'm gonna get his ass. I'm gonna get his ass real good. I said get out. See you around, baby, some other time, huh? You're a woman. Tell you the truth, I didn't know Rita had a boyfriend. Shame on her. And here I thought she was unattached. Don't try to snow me, Dad. Where I come from, a man messes around with another man's woman. He gets his ass whooped. Or worse. Well, my apologies, young man. Ah, damn it! How about I give you a little something? I mean, fuck you! You keep your goddamn money. You just stay away from a woman. You understand me, greaseball? Nice suit. Murdered. 
She got stabbed 26 times with a Marine Corps bayonet. What was my bayonet? Well, did, did you do it? What do you think? I think you're crazy, but I don't think you're a killer. Yeah. Me and a couple buddies who came here on a weekend pass. That's when I met Linda. Right away, something clicked between us. Man, she was something. I was having the time of my life. And one day she told me she was in trouble. Some guy that she was seeing had been skimming money from one of the big casinos and using her to mule it to Kansas City. And that she had just picked up a million bucks for delivery. She said she wanted to split the Mexico with me. But the money was ours for the taking. So I pulled into a motel just outside of Bullhead City. I went to get us something to eat. I guess they must have been watching her. That's when I got back. Found her there, lying on the bed. Blood everywhere. My bayonet was sticking out of her chest. I got scared, so I ran. Cops caught up with me in a roadblock with a pen. They gave me 20 to life. I was 17 years old, man. It seemed like the whole world would come to an end that day. What happened to the money? I don't know. I guess they got it. Didn't you take it? Why do you think I have it? Well, somebody has it. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm scared, Bray. I keep thinking about those men that I killed. Jesus, Ray, I wish we had some money so we could just get the hell out of here, disappear. You got any money, baby? No. Ray, if you have that money, I will go away with you. We can leave here right now. We don't ever have to come back. Baby, if I had the money, you'd think we'd be just sitting here waiting. Well, I got you about 1,200 bucks. What's left of 14 years of making license plates? Just hold me, Ray. Back in a minute. Okay. Someone won't check out. Well. Holy shit. What'd you find out? Not a damn thing. Come on, let's go for a little ride. Somebody I want to talk to. That's him. Hey, Lieutenant, I need to talk. I'll see you at the ball game tonight. All right. That's a son of a bitch that set me up. What are you doing? I'm gonna have some fun. What up? Oh, yeah, we were real glad to see me. 
this for the hell of it. I accused him of stealing the money. You should have seen the look on his face. He did tell me one thing, though. What? And that her sister. And she never mentioned it by name. And I never met her, but he did. And? You know, I realized I saw in court the day that I was sentenced. Because I met her last night at the Golden Spur. Her name's Shirley. Wait a minute. You went to the Golden Spur? How come? Maybe I wanted to get laid. Ow! You listen to me, pal! This is mine, you understand? Uh -huh. Mine, nobody else's, and it's gonna stay that way. Hey, you hear that, General? You dumb been possessed, boy. <laughs> Just a kiss of fair warmth. <laughs> Just as you like it. Well, hello. Hey, jo uh, Rita, come on in. Why don't you take off now? Go ahead. Whatever you want, love. Sweet girl. So where you been? Supposed to be here two hours ago. What do you want from me, Frank? The guy's a horny son of a bitch. All he wanted to do was screw. <laughs> is that right? So you enjoyed yourself so much you stayed another two hours fucking that cowboy, is that right? What's the matter, you jealous? You have me out there doing your dirty work while you're in here fooling around. Wait a minute, wait a minute. With, who, with Jody? She don't mean nothing to me. You're my girl. When's this whole thing gonna end, Frank? Soon, soon. You got the yo-yo eating right out of your hands. I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? <laughs> I almost laughed at his face last night. Stay the fuck away from my girl, that stupid asshole. A few more days, he's gonna be begging to give you the money. I don't know, Frank. I was pushing him all day today. He acts like he doesn't know anything about the money. He's got it. He's got it. He's just trying to lay low. But guess what? He can't because you lit the fire up under his ass. He's going to crack just like an egg. He's a stupid asshole. You just got to keep working on him. Working on him. <laughs> What's the matter? You're not my girl anymore? Sure, Frank. <laughs> Don't ever, Ow. ever forget it. I promise I won't, Frank. That's my girl. <sighs> Tell me. I love you, Frank. What? I love you, Frank. It's us, boss. The 
Can I tell you two just to stay out of sight? Huh? Get in here. Or to step on your fucking foot. <laughs> hey, baby, you're not going to get away from me this time. No, no, no. Eddie, two tequilas down here. Excuse me, baby. <laughs> you made a big mistake, pal. Ray, what are you Shut doing? up. You got two choices, motherfucker. You can get your ass whooped right here, right in front of your friends, or you can come outside with me like a man. That ain't much of a choice. <laughs> Fine, we'll do it here. Ray, no! Ray, stop it! You don't understand, okay? I was just gonna introduce him to Jody. He's only here because I called him. introduce you to Frank. Frank, this is Jody. Jody, Frank. She's my very best friend. Why don't you be a sweetheart, Jody, and go get Frank a drink, okay? Sure, baby. I'll be more than happy. What can I say? It looks like I made a mistake. No hard feelings, huh? Thank you, Rita, dear. What in the hell are you trying to do, huh? You trying to get me fired? Why don't you tell me you work there? Why? Because of this, that's why. When I dropped you off at the casino, you told me, you promised me that you were not gonna get jealous anymore. Get the hell out of here. I'm not looking for no trouble. I just came here to see my girl. Get out. Cheryl, it's okay. Come on, baby. You're running things around here, is that it? Huh? Look, he's with me. He's a murderer. He killed one of the girls who used to work here. Look, I didn't kill Linda. You're convicted good and proper. I was framed. I don't believe you. I believe him. Look, I swear I didn't kill her. I loved her. Somebody else did. Probably your boyfriend, the guy she's working for. I love my sister very much. I don't know how you feel. I'm sorry about the damages. It's all covered. If you need more, let me know. What for? You know, this kind of thing happens here every night. Uh, let's just say uh, you bought her for the night. That was all your money, Ray. Why did you tell her you had more? I got $200 left. Where I come from, that's a hell of a lie. <laughs> Very funny, Ray. I paid for you. So now what do I get for my money? Well, I'm not sure if I like your attitude. And what attitude is that? You've been bought. Let's get it on. You want a drink? Yeah. It was funny being in one of these rooms. Used to be a patio out and back. Lots of trees. Pretty little fountain. Real romantic. I met Linda for the first time out there. She was beautiful. Just like a fairy princess. You must have really loved her. No. I don't fall in love with no horse. You gonna nail this guy or what? Yeah, yeah, soon, soon. Rita told me that she doesn't think he did it. Bullshit! He killed your sister, he hid the money, he's a rotten motherfucker! He says you killed my sister. What kind of crazy talk is that? Is that coming out of your mouth? Why would I do it? She was working for me. I like Linda. I mean, she was a great kid. Well, that's what you're always telling me, Frank. 
All I know is my sister's dead, and it's your fault. Look, look. Digging this up's made everybody a little nuts, okay? Let's just relax. It's gonna be over soon. And after it is, I'm gonna get my money, and then I'm gonna kill him for you, just like I promised. One of them raped me. And I learned at a very young age that men liked my company. And it was really easy at first. So, Ray, why do you like Elvis so much? Elvis was a good man, Rita. He's a poor farm boy. Just like me. The man who rose up out of nothing and made something out of himself. And all that time, all I ever wanted was to go out in the world and make something of myself, be somebody. Make my mom and daddy proud. Things went bad for me. You know, Rita, sometimes dreams have a way. The motel was right about here. But after I got away, I drove out in this direction. You told me you couldn't drive. Yeah, well, you can do a lot of things when people are trying to kill you. So you really did get away with the money then? Yep. You had me completely fooled. You know, I'm nothing compared to some people. Anyway, the way I figure it, money's right about here. That's way out in the middle of nowhere. Well, that's the idea. No witnesses, nobody around to see what's going on. Gotta go. Hey. By the time we get back, I'll have everything packed and ready, okay? Yeah, you promise. I love you, Ray.
Ray. What's the matter? She don't look glad to see me. I'm not smiling, Rita. Come on. I'm very glad to see you, Frank. I was surprised. That's all I got. Wasn't expecting you. Where's the little boy? He, um, he, he just had to go out, get some milk. He's going to be back any minute. Frank. What if he comes back? I'll kill him. So, what's going on here, Rita? Hmm? Nothing. Nothing, huh? Something smells here, Rita. And I think the flowers. Everything is fine, Frank. Is today's paper? Yeah. Would you mind if I borrowed it? Somebody took mine. No, go ahead. Huh. Can you believe that? Somebody stole my goddamn newspaper. <laughs> Maybe I should find out who did it and whack him! <laughs> uh, see? Magazines, they ain't for me. They mean nothing to me. Nothing. Newspapers, I like. Maps, I like even better. Oh, jeez. A map. Well, what is it? What is it? Is it a buried treasure map? Yeah, kind of. The guys at prison told Ray about some lost gold mine. <laughs> Can you believe that? He's so stupid, he believes it. You think I'm stupid, too? No, Frank. Where is he? I told you, Frank. Take her out! Go ahead! Hey, where the hell is he? Let's just take the car and go. There he is, up there!
duffel bag, lover boy. Well, if it isn't Dick Face, I expected to see you sooner. Too bad you missed the party. Hey, what's he talking about, party? Get her over here. Get her over here. <laughs> hey, tough guy. I got somebody who wants to give you a big hello. <laughs> Talk to him! Ray, Ray, it's me. Ray, they found the map. And if you don't give him the money, they're gonna kill me. Yeah, sure, sweetheart. So what's your cut? No, Ray. Bullshit. I saw the two guys you killed. You're working with them, baby. No, Ray, you have to let me explain, okay? Bullshit. <laughs> he hung up. Hung up? <laughs> what do you mean, you know? Hung up. Hey, stupid asshole, listen to me. You give me the money, or I will kill her. Fuck you, man. Here he goes with the fuck you again. I will kill her. Fuck her. You're a dead man. Tell you what, pencil dick. You want the money? Just come on and get it. Still inside, boss. With the duffel bag. You seen him lately? Not for a while. After he talked to you, he cut the lights down low. Damn it. Wait a minute, what the, what the hell is that? Up there in the corner, right there. Rocco, could you take him out from here? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Don't give me the maybe shit. Could you do it or couldn't you? Yeah, when he stops like that, no problem. Go ahead. Frank on the phone. All right, then give me Shirley. Shirley Ray Patterson. Just shut up and listen. Frank's got Rita. I want you to find him. I want you to tell him that I changed my mind. That I'm willing to change the money for Rita. Just do it. I'll call you back. You know, I'm not doing this for you. I happen to like Rita. So, where's the money? It's where I left it 14 years ago. Well, Frank said you went out into the desert and you dug it up. Yeah, well, that's what I wanted him to think. So, where is it? Might as well save your breath, lady. I'm not telling you a damn thing until I talk to Rita. Okay, you can talk to Rita. Which is fine. Get on the phone. 
Ray? Oh, Ray. Everything's gonna be all right, honey. Everything's gonna be okay. Just trying to stay calm. Are you all right? I love you, Rita. I love you too, Ray. I promise you I'm gonna get you out of there. Hey, scumbag. Listen to me. No more trash, you understand? Yeah, I understand. And you understand me. Anything happens to her, I'm gonna torch the money. And this guy's my witness. I'm gonna torch your ass, too. Hello? Yeah, oh, yes, yes, right. All right, okay, okay. Where are we going? Move it down. Where's the money? I get the money when I see Rita. Find some funny asshole? Nothing. It's just you fellas look kind of all shook up, you know. Shut your mouth. Where's the money? It's here. Well, go get it. First, you let her go. Then I get the money. And after that, we walk out of here, no questions asked. You got a deal. You got my word. I love you, baby. The money! I'll be right back, baby. You got two minutes! You dumb son of a bitch! I'm sorry, boss, I slipped. Open it up.
You awake, sweetheart? We can't start the show until you're awake. Oh, you're back. Now the fun begins. <laughs> I know what you're calling, Frank. Fun? I mean, you have a good time when you kill Linda? Stop, go ahead. No! Oh! How'd that feel, huh? God damn it, I'm gonna have a good time now. Oh, I am. It's a good time. Once you tell Shirley over there how you butchered her sister. No! No! No, that's enough! Stop hurting him! Shut your mouth, you fucking whore! What are you doing, man? Why did you have to kill Lily like that? Is it because she liked me instead of you? <sighs> Must be real hard for you. Little dick motherfuckers, once a woman's had a real man. That's right, Ray. Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> See that, Ray? See that, cowboy? <laughs> you know, I am going to kill you. But before I do, I'm going to make you watch me fuck her with a plastic bag tied over her head. I hate that. Shut up. <laughs> You got your old boys doing all your dirty work for you, huh, Frank? Doesn't matter. Break the dirt of your own hands. I mean, if you want to call that thing a hand, a couple of fingers you got left. I, I guess you're kind of a freak now, huh, Frank? You call me a freak? You call me a freak, huh? Give me that, give me that, give me that. Huh? You think what I did to that little slut of yours 14 years ago was bad? Huh? I'm gonna carve this one up like a fucking turkey! You killed my sister, Frank! You killed my sister! Actually, Rocco and Leo did it. I just watched. No, I had to make an example of her. I can't let some little whore steal money off of Frank. And you know something now that I'm thinking, Cheryl? I'm gonna tie up all my loose ends right now. You included. Yep. <laughs> I right, put it down. Put it down! Drop the knife. Drop it! Sure, sure, honey. It's gone. God. Huh? Did you kill my sister? No. I just had to tell him that. I had to get him thinking. Ah! Ah! I tell you one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell are you guys? Hey, what's going on?
had that view, you son of a bitch. I quit! I quit! You're not getting off that easy. Uh, uh. Is this what it was all about, huh? Mm. Is this what you wanted? Uh. I've been thinking about this for 14 years, baby. Let him go, Patterson! You got it all on tape. He's going away for a long time. Let him go, Ray! No, Ray, stop it! No! Ray! Your name has been cleared. It's time to start being somebody. I love you, Ray. It's all right, baby. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> All right, it's over. Get this to the cashier at the casino. Tell them we appreciate their help. What? That's not my money? That's not even my money? No, I was thinking the same thing, right? I told you about the money 14 years ago, but you didn't even bother investigating. I figured you made it up. Seemed like an open and shut case. Cops make mistakes, too. Yeah, well, I told you where it was. It was in the motel in the closet. No! No, I looked. It was not there. You want to know what I think? I think you cops took it. What? You heard what I said. I said you took it. Probably split it up with your boys. You shut the fuck up! Now you shut the fuck up! Now I did my time. 14 years for a crime I didn't even commit. Now you give me any shit at all and I mean any. I'm gonna run my mouth off to every newspaper TV station in the country. And believe me there, listen. In case you haven't noticed, you cops ain't got the best image nowadays, you know? If you want a scandal, you mess with me. Come on, baby, let's get out of here. Something stinks. Wait! You can't let him go away! He took the money! You shut the fuck up! Get him out of here! No, no, wait a minute! You got my money! The asshole got my money! He... No! Oh. He killed my sister! All right, we got it. We got it. It's okay. I promise you, baby. Ain't nobody ever gonna hurt you again. Oh, Elvis Ray. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you, Peter. I love you so much. Come on, baby. 